Hello and good morning. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks for Sons of the Forest. Today I'm going to show you how to build a rope bridge. Rope bridges are really handy for getting between different structures and for moving about when there's aggro on the ground so you can you know, get a good angle for attacking uh, mobs. Building a rope bridge is fairly straightforward to do, although some of the visual indicators are non-intuitive. Um, so let's get right to it. To build a rope bridge, you'll need some rope, obviously, and some logs. We're going to build a rope bridge from that treehouse that you see over there to the top of this platform. So let's go off. Now the best way to do this, i found, is to start at the structure where you have a rope to climb up. Uh, what you want to do is have the rope in hand and you want to look down to the ground. Now if you see a perpendicular line pointing straight down, that's not going to create a rope bridge, that's going to create a climbing rope. What we're looking for is essentially an arrow pointing out from the, uh, the floor itself. So, okay. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for an arrow pointing out from the surface, not pointing down. If we now left click to confirm, what you can do initially is just have a quick test, point towards the place where you want to go. You'll see that the arrow, uh, the dotted line remains white. So now we can jump down, make our way to the location. Okay, this is starting to look good. What we're looking for now is essentially a snap. You see it snaps in just there. Left click. Good. And then we're looking for another dotted line. Parallel to the one that we've just created. Left click. And that's placed the two pieces of rope, connecting those two structures together. So phase fun well phase fun. Phase one is complete. Grab a couple of logs. And what we're going to do is we're going to build out the logs themselves. Okay, so you want to look down towards the ropes. If you see a dotted line like you're seeing in front of you, that's not going to add to the rope bridge. That's going to add to the structure. I'm going to find the right angle. Crouching down sometimes helps. That's not the one. Essentially, we want to look down towards the rope until we see a tick mark like this now because of the way the rope bridge is created it's going to create it from the furthest end towards this end so we're looking for that little tick mark as well as the indicator of the mouse left click splits the log and adds it to the rope okay let's go and grab some more logs We've got a bit of aggro, but we can ignore that for now. Go back towards the rope bridge again, looking for that little tick, like you see there. Left click. Depending on how long the rope bridge is, uh, will vary the amount of logs, obviously, that you need. Okay, now the aggro has been dealt with. Uh, let's get back to finishing this bridge. Again, approach the ropes. We're looking for the tick with the blue mouse button. Oh, there it was. There. Look for the blue tick. Come on. This part can be a little bit frustrating. There you go. We can't do it from the treehouse end because you can't carry logs up the treehouse. Okay, a few more logs. Never enough logs. There we go. As it gets closer, you can see the, um, just at the top of the screen, you can see the moving dashed arrows. Like you see when you're building a roof or 
stairs. Probably four more, I think. Somebody wants to play. Let me deal with the aggro. Okay, so I cleared out the uh, the aggro. Let's get back to the last couple of pieces. There you go. As the gap becomes less, it's just much easier to see where you need to be. I think maybe one more piece. I'm just going to steal a piece from this wall. Maybe not. There you go. Just in case there's a little bit more. No. Oh, yeah, there's one more. There you go. Okay, and that's it complete. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward once you know a couple of knacks on dealing with both the rope and on placing the log pieces. I hope you found that useful. Um, please like the video. Um, tell us, gives me feedback um, that the content I'm producing is good. And it would really help a lot if you could subscribe to the channel. Um, it would help me grow the channel a lot more and would provide YouTube with some information about the types of content that you would like. Until next time, ciao.